This is a daily invitation to grant yourself permission to drop all your other nagging musts and shoulds about wellness, personal development, and how to live a virtuous life. Just choose this one cup of living wisdom. Just choose this one thing and sit with it today. Hello, I'm Rocco, and this is Eyes Wide Open Life. And what I'd like to do today is introduce a video series, um, which is based on a series of posts I write for Substack. And the title is called Just Be Like This Today. A number of people, including my wife, sat me down and said, so much of what you're sharing is so valuable, but it's a lot. And in, in the scope of what I'm already doing, everybody that my work appeals to is focused on growth and healing in some aspect. They're focused on improving their personal development, their own wellness, their relationships, their parenting style, their leadership skills, their craft and calling. And in the, in the realm of all of that, there's so many bits of wisdom and lessons and things we need to remember and practices we need to apply in the moment. But it reminds me of, of, of martial arts. Um, years ago, I used to do Japanese jiu-jitsu, which is unlike Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Brazilian jiu-jitsu, you go straight to the mat. You test out what you're learning um, almost immediately after you learn it. And if it works, it works. And if it doesn't work, you have to figure out why and adjust it. But in Japanese jiu-jitsu, what we used to do, it used to be a lot more like a karate class, where it was a lot more about learning the fluidity of the movement, but never testing that in production, never testing that against an opponent, an opponent who was trying to not allow that to happen. And in the context of of ourselves in our lives, the, the saying that came to mind is we would learn all these techniques and all these um, uh, moves and then you would get into a sparring match or you'd actually get into a scrap on the street and then you would see people that had trained for years and then suddenly they were just flailing and throwing haymakers and flapping around and I couldn't understand what I was watching in the beginning because what's the point of all that training? And it was mentioned so succinctly to me. I don't know where I heard this quote, but it said something like, <clears throat> when in a moment of adversity, we don't fall to the level of our expectation and our intentions. We fall to the level of our preparation and our integration. So it, it matters what you're able to actually integrate as, as wisdom, as a practice. Otherwise, it actually has the opposite effect of helping us because in a moment of adversity, you're, you're, struggling, you're struggling just to get through the moment. This might be an argument with a loved one. It might be a heated um, uh, circumstance at work. It might be grief or financial struggle. Whatever it is, in that moment, all of our wisdom seems to leave us. And we kind of just, that's when the shadow emerges. And only afterwards we realize, oh, this is what I should have done. This is what I, I was supposed to do. This is the practice I was supposed to apply. And instead of actually helping you, it actually makes you feel more guilty or, um, or more foolish in some way because not only did you not win the moment, but there's this voice inside of you that keeps saying, this is what you should have done. You should have done this. You should have done that. So the project of Just Be Like This Today, the premise of it is... Just drop all your other nagging musts and shoulds about your projects of personal development, wellness, and how to live a virtuous life. And just take this one cup of living wisdom and sit with it today. And why I call it one cup of living wisdom is what you'll notice is bits of information that are shared on social media and on the internet. They either come in like KFC buckets, too much to get through. Um, or they come in these little single serving sugar packets that are just artificial sweetener, that they become the little wisdom post-it notes that you stick, the quotes that you collect and the aphorisms that you, that you like to collect, the things that you don't integrate, but you have hordes and hordes of them. But if you can take one cup or even one espresso shot of wisdom and really sit with that, 
and really let that be all that you are doing at the moment, the chances of you integrating that is so much higher. The second point is whatever I'm sharing, why I call it um, daily, daily wisdom or living wisdom, is because all of the high-minded wisdom and spiritual intentionality that we want to bring on board, it's all beautiful, but we actually need tangible everyday wisdom and everyday philosophy. And our chances of integrating and applying that is so much higher. And the third thing is whatever I'm writing in these posts and discussing here in these videos, it's not as if this is a brand new curriculum with a brand new set of topics. I might be using specific language or redefining terms to help us. But all of this actually relates to the wisdom and knowledge and practices that you encounter universally everywhere anyway. And just be like this today is an opportunity for you to drop the enormity and complexity of that project and reduce it down just to this moment and just sit with one cup of living wisdom today and see how that changes your life. So obviously these videos are going to be a much more light and conversational touch on what gets covered much more deeply in the full post on Substack. Now, some of the diagrams that I add there and the language that I choose, some of those quotes, I deliberately make them quotable because it certainly helped me and it helps my clients integrate these ideas quicker and better. And it's going to help you to do that too. So if you want to get closer to that work and you want to sit with a full article itself, go to eyeswideopenlife.substack.com. And as always, your comments here, your efforts to like the video and to subscribe to the channel is exactly what is going to help me boost this work and reach a wider audience. So thanking you in advance for that. And I hope to see you back for the next video. Take care.